Okay. Hey everybody. Um, this is Ashley Monique. Okay. This is not a I know this video. I've been giving I do those. This is actually a weight loss update video. Not really, but really. Well, this is a gastric sleeve update with um video because it, it damn sure ain't no weight loss. Um, okay, let me briefly let y'all know what's going on with me. Okay, y'all know who's been following me that I had my surgery on May the 8th, 2014. So, it's been over a year. May, June, July, August, September. So, a year and four months. As of this morning, I weighed myself today, well, this afternoon rather, and I am, well, when I first wanted to lose weight, I was 509. Then, going the day of the surgery i think i was 485 or 486 and then today i wore myself and i'm 391 um but you know if you've been watching my old videos you, i told you my weight been fluctuating going up and down up and down um I, I lost well over 100 pounds um because like i said i was 509 and now i'm just 391 as of today um so uh I have a lot going on. If y'all watch my videos, y'all can see I have a lot of shit going on. But let me pretty much let y'all in on the stuff that um y'all ain't know about. The one of the you know when when they when you go for the surgery, the consultation and everything, they say they say uh we're gonna do our part, but you're gonna have to do your part. You know, you're gonna have to diet, you're gonna have to exercise and all the other stuff. Um You know, you be like, when you finally make up your mind and decide that you're going to have this surgery, that's it. You be like, you know, I just want to go ahead and get it done. Um, I'm going to do what I need to do. And I was doing what I needed to do, you know, because, um, you know, my videos back in the day or last year or whatever. Okay, a lot of stuff has happened. Um, you know, my mom had passed last year right before I had the surgery. And then I also tried out for um, The Biggest Loser right before the surgery. Um, I just, I've been doing a lot of stuff. Um, I started my business. Um, it's a pretty successful small business. It could be bigger than what it is, but it's what it is currently because it's just me. Because it's hard trying to find somebody who you trust with your money um, and who will represent your brand when you're not there. If I'm not standing there and I'm not handing you something, then the person who handed you something, they got to be a represent. I mean, I want to say they got to be a representation of me, if not per se, but at least a representation of the Yummy Tummy brand and everything that I stand for. Um, so it, it's, it's hard, but I'm, I'm learning to let go because thank god um i've been blessed with some opportunities you know where people are requesting me here requesting me there oh i seen your word can you do this can you do that because not only do i just have the little shop but um i started out doing food vending like festivals and stuff i never did a fair i, I can't do fairs but um i just too much for me but um but I also do catering. I, I physically go to birthday parties and do like slushies and cupcakes and stuff. Not cupcakes, but um, funnel cakes and stuff. So it's it's a God has been good to me. But um, but now I'm gonna stop hindering myself from the blessings that He's sending my way, aka customers and clients that He's sending my way because. I ain't got no help, or I ain't got this, or I ain't got that. So I'm just gonna, you know, I say, you know what? The same way I went in when when I got fired and started this business, I'm gonna do the same thing, and I'm just gonna let it do what it do. You know, if I if it whatever happens happens, but I don't really feel like bad stuff is gonna happen. I'm, I mean, there's gonna be some trial and errors with people. I may have to let some people go. You may just may, may not be what I need right now. You know, um, and then it may be some people that. I can grow with, you know. I want to take on, uh, look, this is getting all off topic, but I want to take on, you know, a person that can do cakes and, you know, whatever, and um, event planning, you know, make stuff look pretty. I want, I want a whole empire. I'm serious about this stuff. But anyway, back to the weight loss thing. A lot of stuff, like my mom passed. I got fired. I got fired in February of this year. Um, I still moved to the town 
that uh, that uh, my job was at my previous job where I just got fired. Um, things did not work out the way I thought they was. I mean, kind of sorted they did. I still got my unemployment. I still got my food stamp. So thank God, because that's how I pay my rent. But the money, the little money that I had put up, um, you know, throughout the course of working and stuff, that's what I paid my other bills with. You know, like the light bill, water bill, cable, internet. Um, but so basically, I've been so focused because my mama passed, my daddy ain't never been shit. I don't have a husband, I don't have a boyfriend, I don't have a baby daddy, and then a lot of other people in my family, they barely got their shit together. So, guess who that falls back on? Me. Me. I gotta take care of me. And that was one of the main reasons what I told y'all why I got this weight loss surgery was because I ain't got nobody to take care of me. Like, when my mama fell sick, well, when my grandma fell sick, my, my uncle and my mother would help my grandma. When my mama fell sick, I'll help my mom. I don't have no kids. I don't have no boyfriend or no husband. So, if I got sick, who was going to take care of me? So, that was one of my main things about having a surgery. So, now, after my mom passed and stuff, now I'm looking like, oh my God, I got all these bills. Like, I had to get my car back. Like I had just, ain't too long just got um, an Impala. But when I sat down, pulled out that piece of paper, started writing out shit, my debt to income did not add up no more because now I got to pay all the bills in this apartment. Plus, on top of the other stuff that I was doing because I was already paying 70% of the bills. My mom was helping with 30% because she was getting a disability check and you know them, them things ain't shit unless she was in the army or something like that. Um, so now I'm paying 130% of the bills, pretty much. Um, so yeah. So, my business actually started from tragedy from my mom passing and, um, frustration because I had to get it. Like, you know, I had to pay these bills and stuff. Um, okay, so, um. So my business is here. It's growing. It's doing what it's supposed to do. Um, it need to. I'm get, letting it get better. But in the course of that, I lost track of what my the, of what the original plan was, which was to lose the weight, become healthy, you know, start a family. Cause I'm getting older. You know, I'm 29 right now. I'll be 30 November the 16th. So that's right. Look, that's right up the street, around the corner. Um, so, uh, I lost track because of me and being in grind mode, me being in survival mode of, oh my God, where I'm going to stay, who I'm going to live with. Cause I'm not, listen, I'm not, let me tell you something. Like I said, I'm a big girl. What the fuck I look like sleeping on somebody's chair? First off. I don't want to sleep on nobody's chair. Secondly, sleeping on a chair is like a twin size bed. Where the hell? Where where the hell I'm gonna put all this on a twin size bed? Like, really? You see, I ain't number five two and I drive a big ass expedition. You know. But um Yeah, so I lost track. Is he? Oh, he wrong for that. But um, I lost track of um, I lost track of uh, what I was supposed to have been doing originally, the original plan of the weight loss, the weight loss plan or whatever, because I had to pay bills and stuff. So I'm noticing that I am way like now I be forgetting to pay my bill. Not well, yeah, I forget to pay my bills. So now I done set that up on automatic payment because it was one Sunday where I said, you know what, this got to stop because I'm wearing myself out. Like I'm tired. I'm tired, I'm frustrated, and a whole lot of other things. So I said, well, you know what, I'm going to evaluate some things. So what I said was I need more money so I can hire employees. Because when you go get a business loan, when you write up your business plan, part of your business plan is you getting a three-month salary for employees, the amount of employees you have. So you already have that cash on hand, giving yourself three months to build up enough um equity or cash or whatever cash flow the way you can pay your employees on your own well i tried to do that 
the bank wouldn't give me no loan because of my debt to income and because of the damn student loans. So anyway, so everything that I'm doing is out of pocket. So as of right now, I don't have money to pay an employee on a regular basis Monday through Saturday. Now I do have money where I can pay an employee when I do my events, like my festivals and stuff, because I make money on those those occasions. But I only I don't do those all the time. I do those maybe like once a month, once every other month, because I have so much other stuff going on. And once I take a deposit for a birthday party, and let's say the birthday party might be just one hundred and fifty dollars, when I could probably make like nine hundred to twelve hundred dollars at a, um, a festival on on that one Saturday. But I already took the deposit. But anyway, that's enough of that. So what I said I was going to do was I was going to start evaluating things. So now I'm getting my paperwork together for my business because I'm going all the way legit. I'm filing for an EIN number. Um, I'm looking for an account. And I started doing my bookkeeping over the weekend. I, I was working on that yesterday. Um, And I've evaluated my business. Um, My hours used to be Monday through Saturday from 12 to 7. I've, I've been operating going on three months now and um, no I have been operating over a little over three months now so I kind of know the flow of my business so I'm no longer staying open to 7 o'clock now I'm open Monday through Friday from 12 to 5 30 and then on Saturdays, if I'm in the shop, if I don't have a birthday party, if I don't have a catering order, if or if I'm not at a festival, then my hours are from 12 to 4 o'clock. Then after that, I can go do what I need to do. But it ain't that simple because, like I said, it's just all me. I am my everything. Like, I just have a whole lot of stuff going on. I'm I'm the accountant. I'm the, the, the uh, personal assistant. I'm my doctor when I'm sick. That's another thing. Like, when I lost my job, I ain't got no health insurance, so I got to... It's just more stuff, like it's more stress and stuff. But I'm hand, I'm 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 happy at the way. Well, let me say this: I'm okay with the way of how I'm handling the additional stress because when I had my uh, therapy thing, my therapy session, you know, what's required to have the surgery, um, they they diagnosed me as a stress eater. Like I would go, um, I was a stress eater, but I was a budgeted stress eater like I'm always conscious about money because when you ain't had it and you kind of get more or be in a better place than where you used to be you ain't never trying to go back ever but you ain't but I'm not the type of never going back on some grimy type mess or sleeping with a nigga you know to pay my life but I ain't doing all that bump that fuck that but um so yeah so i just have a lot of stuff going on you guys um i'm just trying to make it i'm just trying to survive um but in the process of making it and survive i'm not doing whatever i'm not doing everything that i'm supposed to do as far as this weight loss thing um so i started closing at 5 30. there's a personal workout class um they have zoom but like twice a week or whatever but this personal workout class with a personal trainer or whatever um like maybe like three days out the week uh it starts like at seven or eight o'clock so i'm but i don't stay in the town of where my shop is at so what i'm trying to do is move back to the town because not only by moving back to the town that saves me time i won't have to rush driving an hour to get to where i need to be at and then i have an suv like i said i have an expedition this is an old school a 99 expedition it don't look like it on the outside but you know the motor as far as the gas tank concerned it's not flex fuel so um so basically my rent is 600 dollars in the apartment that i stay in me driving back and forth from florence to marion that's like an extra between two fifty to three hundred dollars a month so if i can move back closer to my hometown and find a house for like 450 to 550 you know even if it was just six hundred dollars what i'm currently paying now then it'll still help me save on um, like two hundred dollars on gas it's just a lot of numbers that's going on up in here so it's a lot of numbers going on as far as my bills a lot of numbers as far as going on as my business and a lot of numbers going on as far as my weight I want to get back on track. 
and I'm currently doing what I need to do as far as like finding the time to do what I need to do because it was I promised the guy it was at one point in time where it was like I don't have time to work out I don't have time I gotta open the shop I gotta do this I gotta do that I'm like that shit don't make I cannot believe I said that because at the end of the day if I run myself fool and I fall the fuck out for one I don't have insurance currently at the moment and two the only thing people gonna do for me Besides a handful of my family members, five maybe, the only thing people gonna do for me is fucking hashtag R.I.P. Miss Yummy Tummy or Ashley Yummy Tummy. <laughs> so I was like, fuck that. I'm trying to get my life together, you know. Um, I'm looking for a business partner. It's just, it's just a lot because I don't, I want to take the stress and pressure off of me, and you know, somehow have. A partner where they can if I don't show up they'll show up you know but I'm working on some things um so the same way I'm working on things for my business I also want to start working thing on things for my health um I'm glad I'm not over that 400 but I damn sure was supposed to be under 300 by now and I'm 391 I'm damn I'm knocking on 400 door but um but I don't never go past like 396 because it been fluctuating. And then the lowest I ever been was 373. But this video was an update on my gastric sleeve weight loss. I am honest. I'm genuine. I'm authentic. I'm not going to come to y'all and lie to y'all like, oh my God, this was the best thing that ever happened to me. I am happy that I had it because... Uh, at the end of the day, even if I'm not losing weight, it reminds me, like, if I want to eat two slices of pizza, if I want to eat a whole cheeseburger or a whole double cheeseburger or some shit like that, it'll be like, uh-uh, what the fuck you doing? Like, like that's it. You know, I'll be like, oh, I feel it, you know. So, even after a year and some change later, you know, I still feel it. Um, But it's doing what it's supposed to do. Now it's my part. It's my turn. And I've just been so caught up in life trying to have the basic necessities, the food, the clothes, and the shelter, you know, that um, none of that shit going to make a difference. If I'm not here... Mm. Mm.